Welcome to the eighth IGC events webinar focused on geothermal, which is presented by Think Geo Energy and Enerchange. My name is Jochen Schneider. I'm the director of Enerchange and glad to welcome you and Professor Dr. Tababa, professor at the Izmir Institute of Technology in Turkey. He will speak today about reusing geothermally produced CO2 in geothermal power plants. Alpababa is a geologist and did his PhD in the field of hydrogeology at the Dokus Eyal University in Izmir. Since more than 26 years, he works in the field of hydrogeology and geothermal energy to solve problems in different parts of the world. In 2010, he became professor at the Izmir Institute of Technologies. Besides teaching, he is involved in a variety of national and international R&D projects in cooperation with research institutes and companies, among them NATO-funded projects. Dr. Alpababa was awarded the Successful Young Scientist Award of Turkish Academy of Science and the Turkish Geological Engineering Association Gold Medal Award. Dr. Baba is author of several peer-reviewed scientific publications and contributions to international conferences and is editor of the book Groundwater and Ecosystems and was involved in the NATO science series Climate Change and its Effects on Water Resources, Issues of National and Global Security and the Geothermal System and Energy, Turkey and Greece. This is a CRC Press book. Alpa, we are looking forward to your presentation. The floor is yours. Dear Johan, thank you very much for invitation. And then this is important event. Uh, I would like to thank you for you and your colleagues. Uh, yeah, now we are really very bad situation because of the COVID. I hope that everybody is safe now. Uh, today I'm going to focus a little bit about uh, reusing the geothermal product from carbon dioxide in geothermal power plant. Uh, as you know that uh, I'm in Izmir Institute of Technology, our company is also located in the uh, geothermal field. Still we have uh, some uh, ruins about the geothermal. Uh, as you know that carbon dioxide is really very critically in the world. Many people focus about this one and then many countries have a strategy about the carbon dioxide. As you know that most of the carbon dioxide come from the, especially fossil fuels. This is consists of the oil, gas, natural gas and others. Uh, but the older results show that the carbon dioxide is increased day by day. For example, in 1973, if you see that 2010, the carbon dioxide is going to increase. And then also, according to the Kelly curve, this data come from Hawaii. As you see that all the data, in 1960 data, 2000, as you see the carbon dioxide is going to really increase. And then in 2020, carbon dioxide level is just exit 413. 0.40 ppm. And then when we look, look at the countries, as you see that some countries is produce more carbon dioxide, such as the China, US, United States, India, Russia, Japanese. And this is like this is five countries produce the more carbon dioxide. But this is the result of the most of the result from the coal combustion and the other fossil fuels systems. Okay, if you look at the geology, as you do, each, each country is quite a different, they have a different kind of the geological unit. We have an ocean crust and then we have a continent crust. But if you look at the continent crust, you see that each part of the crust, they include some carbon drugs and then they, they some carbon dioxide release at the, at the system. For example, this is the mantle atmosphere in here, as you see that the carbon dioxide is released from the mid ocean ridge. And then also, if you are going to the sedimentary, they come from, the, because we have some magma, and then this carbon dioxide is rising from the magma come to the surface, and then later this carbon come from the surface by the volcanic activity. And then this carbonate, because of the weathering, they produce like bicarbonate carried in the ocean. And then also, uh, you can see in the continental crust and then other tectonic and metamorphic system, you can see that the carbon dioxide. And then generally, most of the geothermal system related with the volcanic system in the earth. If you look at the volcanic, volcanic gases uh, at the middle ocean reach is very low. But if you look at the volcanic gases at the continental margin can be extremely high. 
but also continent crust and sediment can produce amount of methane, but have a very few carbon dioxide when compared to the other one. If you some geological unit, if they have a like a carbonate rock, the meaning that you have a more carbon dioxide in the system. As you know that uh, we have a you know if you look at the equilibrium of the carbonate, if you look at the shallow perspective and deep perspective, we have a two. It is possible we can classify it. If you look at the dissolution of the limestone, for, because at the uh, natural pH, as you see, calcium carbonate you can produce calcium and carbonate. And then if you go to the uh, basic hydrolysis of carbonate, you see that the carbonate uh, plus the water, you know that the bicarbonate and then carbonic, uh, are they going to the acid, and then carbonate and water and carbonic acid. And then if the, the solution are free uh, airs, as you see that carbonic acid produces carbon dioxide, and then if you are going to, you see that the, uh, we can see that the, um, in the system, but this carbonic uh, carbon dioxide is an a fu function of the uh, uh, pressure and temperature, and then also the solution of calcite by carbon acids. We can also produce carbonate, bicarbonate for calcium carbonate plus carbon acid, and then they, we can it can produce the calcium and then bicarbonate uh, under the uh, the pH six uh, from pH six point three to pH ten point three, and then also oxidation of the organic acid in the soil uh, by bacteria, they also produce uh, some oxalic acids. You know, that is oxalates, the oxygen, and then water, and then the carbonate, we can produce the uh, oxalic acid. And then if you are going to deep pro uh, perspective, you see that calcium carbonate also produces calcium oxide and ca uh, carbon dioxide, uh, uh, um, uh, also carbon dioxide, also carbon, uh, di uh, carbon acid, and then silicate, Produce the carbon dioxide in the uh, high temperatures, like a uh, 150 temperatures, and then also again, the, if temperatures uh, more than zeros, as you see, the limestone dissolution at the uh, acidic pH. This is the equation about uh, this system, and then this is also function of the pressure. Uh, also, the acidic hydrolysis of the carbon dioxide. Uh, we we produce carbon dioxide plus uh, water. You can see that the you can see carbon acid. And then it, it is we can see that in the different geological system in every part of the world, and that they produce carbon dioxide acid. If you look at the geological, you know, hydrogeologic perspective, you see that we can in the in the same aquifers. For example, this is unconfined aquifer. This is confined aquifers. We have an impermeable rock, and then we have a, again we are. This is the, the base material in here. But you see that this is same reservoir, but in same reservoir is behavior different because this is the directly with the open the airs. And then this affected by the uh, recharge because affected by precipitation. As you see that this is calcium sulfide, and for example, this is a confined system. There is sodium chloride, but you see that in here, uh, uh, the because of the more heat, and then uh, the the carbon dioxide start to travel from the confined aquifer to unconfined system. And then this is the the meaning that this is the you know that each system is have a different behavior, and then they have a different chemistry, and then they produce the carbon dioxide. If you look at the carbon dioxide in the world, generally uh, it is interesting. Uh, we can see the more carbon dioxide in the in the coal, but also you know natural gas and coal, but also in the some geothermal system they have a carbon dioxide. For example, this is the, some data from the different country carbon dioxide. If you look at the this is red one is the mention about the Turkey geothermal system. Most of the geothermal system of the Turkey located in the power generation located in western part of Turkey, but this is the uh, this is the reservoir is the carbonate rocks. This is the marble, but the, because of this marble, the carbon dioxide level is quite high in this region. Uh, and when we compare the other system, as you see that the, the value is very high. The other system, you see that this is, for example, this is the one of them is Kızıldere. You see that the the carbon dioxide emitting rate is gram kilowatt hours is like it range from 900 to 1300. And then according to EBRD, this is one study, they said that the carbon dioxide concentration is going to be increasing in Turkey. For example, this is 2015 and 2023. But uh, now we have discussion about this one in Turkey because the carbon dioxide is increased, but still we have some problem about this one. Okay, because uh, but you know that in geothermal system, its scaling is very critical. It affects the system. But if you look at the, for example, this is the western part of Turkey. We have a different geological unit in here, 
uh, this is controlled by tectonic and this for example this is a mo more the volcanic region in this part this is metamorphic region most of our geothermal located in this part but if you look at the this data this is the mention about the each geothermal system and then this is the measure ion cation of the each geothermal system if you look at in here for example the green color is mentioned about the sodium for example the the uh, the pink color is mentioned about chlorine. For example, this is sodium chlorine in this region, number one. If you look at in here, number two, in near the Tuzla region. But, and then the other one, if you are coming in number three, as you see that those sodium sulfate system. And then if you are coming to this part, you know that this is the, like a calcium bicarbonate type of the water. The meaning that each site have a different uh, system. But if you look at the, this high concentration, the, the different chemistry, the meaning that you have a different chemical problem in the system, okay. And then one of them is a big scale. You know that we are, when we, we, we drilled the valves after the, we got to the fluid uh, in the flushing point, you know that the carbon and dioxide exposed and pH going to be increased. And then if they're going to increase the pH, the meaning that you can see that the acids uh, scale, you can see that the crust, you can see the uh, scaling. You said this is silica acid, for example, in this region, in this side, you can see that, for example, silica acid and sodium chloride and metal carbonate and carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide in this region. Okay, if you look at the, especially the silicic acid, yeah, uh, silica scaling is very critical and very big problem for the uh, system. For example, this is one of the sample about the uh, northwest of Turkey because Tuzla region is very critical because they have the hydrogeochemical is very complex, but they have more sodium and then chloride. This is, a, you see that the silica and then they uh, consist of hydrogen and oxygen around. And then this is the monomer types, but if you can, you know, put it together, you can produce DMR and then tratmer, hexamer, olimer, silicate polymer. As you see that this is, now we can see that the colloidal silicate in the system. And then this is the, for example, this one is the consists of the magnesium and then uh, iron. And then this is the, we call that this is silicate scaling. This is very critical for the power generation. This is not easy. You can clean this one. It is, you know, the meaning that you can stop the system you and, you know, the mechanical and chemical is it take so much money and then reaction. Okay. Uh, also, how can we minimize the carbon dioxide in system? Okay. The, the one of them is affected the earth carbon dioxide, but the other one, we can see that silica in the system. The our, we say that how can we minimize the scaling in the system? Okay. For, for, for example, in Turkey now, that we have some power generation. They they used to uh, they product the carbon dioxide, uh, liquid carbon dioxide. You know that this is the production capacity of the, each one. This is happy because all the drinking materials in, in Turkey they used to the carbon dioxide uh, dry ice. Okay, this is the sample about this one. But what we did uh, first, we uh, we did one of the good study in the in the Tuzla region because the Tuzla is northwest of Turkey. This is the highly brine system, high temperature uh, brine system. And then this more sodium and chlorine, the chlorine, uh, chlorine, uh, the electric conductivity more than 100,000 micro Siemens per second in this region. And then the, uh, the, uh, our idea, we say that how can we minimize the scaling in this region, the main, the for, uh, for this one first, we, we, we used to, we, we, you know that the power generation produced some carbon dioxide, we, we, we say that we have to capture this carbon dioxide. We go to inject this carbon dioxide in the system, not reservoir. This is the difference because we collected the carbon dioxide in the system and then we injected it in the different of the pipeline. If you injected it in the pipeline, you know that if you get you injected in different parts of the pipeline, you know, you injected the vapor and brine, as you see that now we, we, we are going to decrease the pH. And then this is the behavior like uh, like inhibitors. You know, that this, now this study is be, uh, like, you know, carbon dioxide, we use the inhibit now. Okay, we have one of the paper about this one. This is published in Geothermics. The, the paper name is Injection of the Carbon Dioxide Hypersaline Geothermal Brine. If you find time, please read this paper. They explain all this process about the system. And then, uh, with the carbon dioxide, we also used to formic acid, and then we used to, you know, we used to many compounds. We checked the, all the system, and then we, we, you know, we checked the pressure. We can check it, everything, and then we, we saw that, for example, like a formic acid and carbon dioxide, it looks same, but carbon is more better than this one. We have some data about this one, 
as you see that this is the data about uh, how can carbon dioxide affect the fluid and then how can they affect the pH as you see that for example the pH 60.6 .6, but after you use to car added carbon dioxide in the system in the fluid in the system as you see that the pH is you know that go to the 5.8 and then if you see that and then silica value is going to be close because this kind of the system they have a high silica they, therefore we can see silica scaling in this part but the meaning that uh, the carbon dioxide is working very well no any corrosion no any big scaling problem in here and then we see that also the iron is you know uh, the, the values is you know increasing the uh, water you know that the meaning that is not going to be see the scaling and then we compare this data with the uh, for example formic acid dosage and then you see that this is formic acid they most of the power generation use this acid uh, and then but the old results show that the carbon dioxide is very good in the system now now we are happy now we are we have yeah, still the tools system is working about the, the pilot system working now is very well but we want to increase this system for all the power generation and then i hope that in near future we can see this system in a different part of the geothermal in the in the turkey and other countries generally geothermal development in the last 40 years has shown that is not completely free adverse impact of environment such as the carbon dioxide and then uh, these impacts are causing an increasing concern and extent may not be limited development and then as geothermal energy production refined and expanded the benefit continues to grow with the continuous technology development geothermal can be expanded all over the world and already in the global environment geothermal impact can be reduced to the near zero for example this one of the carbon dioxide is possible we can use the carbon dioxide in these sectors sitting in turkey now we are focused about the, how can we use the geothermal carbon dioxide to do use for the fires you know that in in the turkey and then for example corrosion and scaling still is a big problem on most of the geothermal system but we believe that the scaling is a serious issue for geothermal power since it's remarkable degrees to harvest for energy and then the reduction of the pH by organic acid whose structure close to the carbon dioxide for instance formic acid has been effective solution for the minimization of scaling hearing the effect of the carbon dioxide injection on the formation of scaling particularly metal silicate was investigated for the model of the Tuzla geothermal field in the western part of Turkey uh, and then and then carbon uh, dioxide has an acidic character in aqua system because it is led to the formation of carbon acid and then we compare uh, with the other system and then for the injection of the we use the about 20.6 cubic meter per second carbon dioxide this is meaning approximately 88 ppm uh, to hide the uh, hypersaline brine in the geothermal to the geothermal field uh, and then uh, is a promising green approach for both mitigation of scaling and by reduction pH from the 5 7 to 0.62 uh, and then minimize all the potential corrosion compared to the uh, use of the formic acid. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. Thank you very much, Alpo, for this interesting presentation, which is in a way the continuation of the, the CalPix presentation we had here two months ago. We can now proceed. I want to announce the next focus on geothermal. We will have Alexander Richter from Think Geoenergy being the chairman September 4th in two weeks. Again, a focus on geothermal. And we are looking forward to welcome Julian Richardson from Pahelion with his presentation about risk finance for geothermal resource development. So thank you very much, Alper. Thank you very much uh, to to all the listeners, and looking forward to see you soon. Thank stay, you very much. Stay healthy and have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Thank you.